I'm Talmadge King. I am a professor of medicine at the University of California, San Francisco, and I'm also chair of the Department of Medicine at uh, that institution. I uh, went to college at Gustavus Adolphus College in St. Peter, Minnesota. Went to medical school at Harvard in Boston. And I did my residency training at Emory University affiliated hospitals in Atlanta. And then I went to Denver and I did a pulmonary fellowship and I stayed there 20 years. The reason I got interested in Murray and Nadell book because it is the it is the textbook that we all use uh, as the Bible for uh, studying about pulmonary diseases and it's the one we read for the preparation for our boards and things like that. So it was an honor for me to join the editorial board. And the section I'm responsible for is the diffuse lung diseases. And in that section of the book, we try to talk about not only the history, but we show the progress that has been made in understanding the disease, especially dividing the diseases up so we can teach each other about how to identify the people who have the disease and we talk about the advances we've made in managing the disease. Not just drug therapy, but the other things we can do for patients to help them have a better quality of life. The goal is to increase the quality and the quantity of life. Um, and so, we, in the book, we try to show physicians um, how to do that with the patients that they're taking care of who have these diffuse lungs. Well, I've known pretty much all the authors personally for a long, all the editors for a long time. And um, Murray and Nadell were um, basically heroes in pulmonary medicine. If you do pulmonary medicine, they're among a small group of pioneers in this field. And John Murray uh, is a eloquent speaker and a superb writer, and I remember being really influenced by one of his books called The Normal Lung, which at the time I read it as a fellow was just the clearest um, publication that described what we should understand about the normal lung. Because if you understand the normal lung, you can understand the abnormal lung. And so I admired his writing and admired him as a physician scientist. And so to get to work with them was really a pleasure. And then I actually know the other editors extremely well. So as a team, we're not only f colleagues, but we're friends, and we enjoy working together and generating this textbook, um, which we think uh, is very helpful to the community, is a real outstanding honor for all of us. First thing is, I think you have to find what you really like, um, because this is a long career and you should do something you truly enjoy. And as a pulmonologist, I'm obviously heavily biased in that direction, but I think I'm biased in that direction because it gives you a very broad platform on which to work. And so um, over my career, I've done many different things uh, in, the, in the field of medicine, using pulmonary medicine as my platform from critical care, which is one aspect, but we also do sleep and we do rehabilitation and we do, um, we manage patients with chronic diseases. Many of them we now have pretty good ways of managing asthma, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, and in my field, interstitial lung disease. I think it's an exciting area. There's still a lot to be done in terms of understanding these diseases, but we've made progress. And I think as a career choice, this would be an area where there's a lot to be done um, and you can actually make a difference. And if you're in practice, there's a lot we can do to help you help manage your patients. So it's a very good career for a choice. But the fundamental thing is do what you like, uh, because you're going to be doing it for a long time. 